We were this close to an X-Men Christmas horror movie. Let me explain. Back in 2018, it was announced that Tim Miller, director of Deadpool, would make an X-Men film starring Kitty Pryde, the mutant better known as Shadowcat, or Sprite. The character was played by Elliot, then Ellen Page, in the 20th Century Fox series. While details were few and far between, the project would have most likely been apart from that continuity, and the role recast. The working title was 143. 143. What could that mean? A quick Google search reveals that 143 is internet code for I love you. Aww. Would Miller bring Colossus, Kitty Pryde's love interest in the comics, over to this new mystery movie? Would he shine a light on the initially uncomfortable age difference between them? Of course not. But get on it, A24. No. The combination of Kitty Pryde's name with those three digits brings a very different story to mind. A very different X film altogether. Not just a superhero movie, but a Christmas one. With a dash of horror. Because 143 just happens to be the issue of Uncanny X-Men called Demon. It's basically Home Alone meets Alien, and it would have made an awesome movie. The story, by Chris Claremont and John Byrne, has 13-year-old Kitty, brand new to the team, left, yep, home alone in the X-Mansion. Poor Kitty laments not being able to spend Hanukkah with her parents. She works out in the Danes room and gets all existential. Thinks about how Jean Grey just died. How she could die. This poor girl's 13. Eighth graders shouldn't be dwelling on their own mortality. The security alarm goes off. Despite being instructed to do so, Kitty holds off on calling the cops. Let me repeat that. This child was abandoned in the very public headquarters of a famous super team that's been attacked by Juggernaut, Magneto, and Apocalypse. And they tell her to call the Poe if shit goes down. Anyway, turns out it's not a burglar, but an interdimensional alien demon. Because of course it is. Kitty, who has the power to phase through walls, starts doing just that. The intruder, who looks suspiciously like a xenomorph, wrecks the mansion chasing after her. In the end she, spoiler alert, fries the monster with the Blackbird's thrusters. We learn Professor X wasn't a complete asshole and flew her parents in for the holidays. Kitty, for her part, acts like she wasn't almost murdered at her new boarding school. What's cool is that this wasn't some giant-sized annual. It was a simple, 22-page, standalone issue. And if this was the inspiration for Tim Miller's film, and all signs suggest it was, it would have been a one-off. Which is great. Not every comic adaptation needs to be a trilogy. I love that this would have been a small, self-contained story. Not only that, but a Christmas horror movie set in the X-Men universe. How weird and cool. And directed by a guy who clearly knows what he's doing. So what happened? When Disney bought Fox, a lot of projects that were in development went away. We lost Channing Tatum's Gambit, an X-Force spinoff. James Mangold, director of Logan, even confirmed he was working on a solo X-23. While it's rumored we'll glimpse some of these characters in Deadpool 3, it's unlikely Disney will go ahead with full features. In a 2019 interview with ComicBook.com, Miller laid any hopes we might have had to rest. I was really excited about my Kitty Pride movie. Fuck I love that movie. It'll never happen now. What do you think of the story? Would you have wanted to see X-Men meets Alien meets Home Alone? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.